We'll guide you through how to make and set up a Minecraft Forge server. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. A Forge server is really great because you can then go and play with Forge mods on there. So therefore you can play with others with Forge mods. So we'll guide you through how this can be done. Let's come out of Minecraft. What you then need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll go and use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. And what we then need to do is go and head to Forge as we need to go and get the installer. The official site is files.minecraftforge.net. And what we need to do is go and choose the version of Forge that we want. The main thing to consider here is if you're wanting to have specific mods on the server, and if those mods have a specific version that is required, I'll then press installer here, and you want to wait for the skip button to be available in the top right. We can click there and Forge is now gone and downloaded. What we can now do is go and locate that in our downloads folder. Let me go and open it up in our file explorer. What we then need to do is go and locate Forge. We'll go and drag it onto our desktop like so. Now, what we need to do is go and double click it and it should go and open up. If it doesn't go and open up, this means you don't go and have Java. So you can go and open up your web browser and you can go and search for java.com like so. You want to go and click download Java for desktops and then you can go and click the download button again and it will download. And also click developer downloads here and we can get JDK24, select Windows and find the installer, and we can download this and then go and install it as well as the other Java we got as well. After you've done that, return to Forge, right click on it, hover over open with, and click choose another app. Select Java and select always, and it should then go and run like so. Then you want to go and select install server, press the three dots to the right here, and you can then choose where you want to go and install this, select desktop, and we can click new folder in the top right, and I'll go and name this Forge Server like so. Then press open and then press OK. And then we're gonna go and create this folder for the server. Now it's gonna go and download what it will need. Now finished and we can go and press OK. You can then go and delete this installer here. As I said, if you're yet to install it on your computer, then you can run it and install the client. Then what we can do is go and open up the folder we created. As you can see, here it is. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting you can go and create a Forge server with Apex. There'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. And at the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. The great thing about using Apex hosting is the server is always going to be online. As when you're running it on your computer, your computer will need to be online and you'll need to be running the server using up resources, which isn't ideal. And also you'll have to give out your IP address as well. And you're going to have a panel where you can go and run the server really easily. So go and check them out if you're interested. What you need to do is double click run.bat. This is going to go and launch this here, as you can see. And then what you need to do is go and press any key and it's going to close. That when it generated the eula.txt, double click on it to open it up. And then what you need to do is you need to go and read and agree to the terms here essentially. You can copy and paste this here into a web browser. If you agree to it, I already have read it. We can go and change the eula to true, press file and press save. And what you can do is come back here and double click run.bat again. It's now finished. And what we can do is go and close this here as we aren't going to need it right now. So what we can now do is go and start installing mods. So you can come into the mods folder and you can go and drag and drop them in. Just make sure that for the same version. So in this case, I got Forge for 1.20.1. .1, so I could go and add those mods in there. Also, the mods will need to be installed on the client side as well, aka in your mods folder and other players who will go and connect. Then after you're going to add in mods, what you may want to consider doing is deleting the world and regenerating it, depending upon the mod, as the mod may change things for the world. Right click on it and go and press delete or press the delete key like I did there. And what you can also do is find server.properties, right click on it, and you can then press or hover over open with and select notepad. And you can go and change the different settings here. After you've made those changes there, then what you can do is go and double click run.bat. Now that it's running, we can go and connect. So let's go and open up Minecraft here. We can come into multiplayer and click add server. In the server address, because you're hosting on your computer, type in localhost. You can then select it and press join server. And here we are in the world. It's that simple. Now you're probably wondering how can other people now go and connect? The most common way is port forwarding and you'll then need to go and give out your IP address, which isn't always that safe or secure. So a general rule is, is you should only give it to people you'd invite around your house. That is why I really do like using Apex. It saved me from having to give out my IP. 